with today's increasingly complex food production chain and growing competitive pressures, you need fast and accurate ways to spot pathogens and help ensure food safety. The Pathetrix Auto Immunomagnetic Separation System delivers. Our high volume, fully automated system minimizes the chance for human error and links with any detection system. Because it can test larger samples at one time and has a shorter run sequence, you can rely on the Pathetrix system to increase your productivity and help save you time and money while meeting exceptional food safety standards. Your Pathetrix Auto system comes with these items. You'll also need this equipment and materials to run it. When you're ready to start, turn on the instrument and wait for the system to initialize. The keyboard is very simple. The numbers 1 through 5 are each linked to a cartridge, and they let you start or cancel a run or begin the drain cycle. The arrows let you scroll through system options, and the lights indicate whether a run is in progress, finished, or in standby. The Pathetrix system is completely automated. The system goes through four cycles, and we'll go into those in a bit more detail as we show you how the unit works. Place the sample and elution tubes into the sample vessel holder. Then load your sample. Add the sterile wash buffer to the elution tube up to the 35 milliliter line. Make sure the lids are fastened securely. And when you're done, the unit will look like this. Add the coated auto beads to the sample tube through the spout. Our standard beads can be used to detect a variety of common pathogens. Now connect the capture chamber. Insert the valve body into the spout of the sample and elution tube lids. Place the assembled consumable into one of the five cartridge holders. Push firmly on each section to make sure it's placed correctly in the cartridge. Be careful not to cover the hole during this step. To engage your magnets, slide the magnet holder to the left until it locks. You'll hear a click. This positions the magnet against the capture chamber. If you don't engage the magnets correctly, this screen will appear when you attempt to run the unit. Position the cartridge into the guide slots and push the cartridge forward until it clicks. Each of the five cartridges can run independently, and you can run anywhere between one and five at a time. When you're ready to start a run, just push the numbered button directly above the cartridge. During capture, the sample will cycle through the antibody-coated Pathetrix auto beads, which are held in the capture chamber by magnets. At regular intervals, the liquid will be expelled from the capture chamber back into the sample tube. This allows the sample to be mixed thoroughly. When the capture cycle is done, the wash cycle will start automatically. If you need to stop the capture cycle to add beads or an elution buffer, press and hold the number button for that cartridge for five seconds. The display will ask if you want to cancel. Press the left arrow for yes, which will stop the run and let you add beads or buffer. Or push the right arrow for no and the run will continue. During the wash cycle, the beads will be rinsed with a sterile PBS buffer multiple times. When the cycle is complete, the magnets move to the open position and disengage from the capture chamber. You will hear a single click. During elution, PBS is flushed over the capture chamber, washing the beads. The bead suspension is expelled and drained and the auto beads are drawn to the magnet. When the elution cycle is done, the light will alternate between green and red. This is your cue to start the drain cycle by pressing the number button once again. If you hear a clicking sound around the time you would have expected the elution cycle to end and the light remains green, this could mean the magnet slider didn't release. Just push firmly on the front of the cartridge in the direction indicated. Listen for a click and continue with the normal steps. The excess PBS will be removed from the elution tube and transferred to the sample tube. All that's left in the elution tube are the auto beads and a small amount of PBS. When the run is completed, a constant red light will appear. Remove the cartridge from the Pathetrix system and place it in the cartridge holder. Pull the entire consumable portion from the cartridge and place it into the sample vessel holder. Remove the cap from the elution tube, then throw away the sample tube and the capture chamber. 
These pieces are considered to be potential biohazardous waste, so follow all appropriate regulations. Save the elution tube and the vessel holder. The elution tube holds the auto beads, and the holder is where the magnets are located. To resuspend the beads, leave the elution tube in the holder and use a pipette to remove any remaining PBS wash buffer. Be very careful not to displace any beads from the magnet. Then, take the elution tube out of the holder and add 100 microliters of sterile PBS buffer to the tube. This will create the final auto bead suspension. This process is fast and easy. You'll be able to disassemble the system and prepare for your next sample in just minutes. Analyze the desired portion of the auto bead suspension using your preferred pathogen detection method. Please refer to the Pathotrix Auto Protocol for details. If you need to store the bead suspension for later testing, you have two options. For PCR and direct plating, store the bead suspension in the elution tube with a lid or in a microfuge tube. Keep it away from magnets. Store it at a temperature between 2 and 8 degrees Celsius for up to 24 hours. If you prefer to use PCR only, transfer the bead suspension to a microfuge tube and store in a negative 20 degrees Celsius freezer for up to a month. When the sample testing is done, dispose of the elution tube and the unused sample. Remember that these are considered to be potential biohazardous wastes and follow all appropriate regulations. Although malfunctions and failures are rare, if you have a problem, contact Life Technologies. Don't attempt to service the unit yourself. For additional service and support, please contact us online at lifetechnologies.com forward slash support. Thank you for joining Life Technologies in our efforts to improve food safety around the world.